guys. So finally getting to this one. Um, I had built this a while back and uh, Buddy wanted it, but wanted me to get the side engraved. So it took a minute to get this back. So I apologize, sir. But now we've got Wilk right there on the side. Does that look good? So we've got a brushed case radioactive build. So this is one of my blue builds. We use this blue enamel paint and it's way better in person when it catches the light to like, there you can kind of see it's nice little striations in it. Just a, a single pass on it. Just however it, however it looks is, is however it looks. So that's what we did with that one. So it did a white handset, uh, white with blue, custom painted blue seconds hand. It's got a polished bezel and a polished crown. And then we've got a silver with blue accent uh, insert, a radioactive engraved uh, crown. And then this is on one of my Shrenkov 58 straps, all blue. Bun strap cut out nicely in the back. So you can see your large exhibition case back. Um, stainless steel movement holder going on around there and a black rotor. And then obviously I showed that we had engraved this name there on the side. And um, automatic mechanical, you can wind it, you can wear it, you can put it on a winder. Um, it's not too much wider there with the bun strap on there. This is a removable strap. All you gotta do is push it back up through there, right? See, that will go just push right back in, right? The other side you would have to take off take the screw out on the buckle if it wants to focus on it maybe it doesn't want to apparently it doesn't want to there it is take that off slide that off and then you could have the room you could remove the bund but um super comfortable regardless uh this is uh horween weather um so to wind this, so if it's completely dead, you'll want to wind it. Don't just put it on your wrist and hope that you move enough. You will lose time if you're if you're not very active. So um, with the bun strap, I just literally push it down just so I can get my finger under there. Won't hurt it. It'll go right back when you put it on your wrist. You know, it's going to push right up against your wrist. So, and it's, it's flexing back here, you know, up here and up here. So not putting any kind of bend in it. But, uh, so... Show you the bezel real quick. You can turn it left. You can turn it right. But I put it on really freaking tight. So uh, you will never accidentally move that. Is that straight? Uh, I think it's straight now. That is tough to move. So automatic mechanical. Uh, you can wear it. You can put it in a winder. Um, you can put it in a watch winder to keep the time. But if it's completely dead, you're going to wind it. So you're going to remove this off the tubes. You're going to hear it clicking and feel it clicking. At that point, you can wind it, which is a turn that way. This does nothing, but it's a lot easier to wind it back and forth. The back stroke doesn't do anything, but you can keep your fingers against it nice and, and easy. Like I said, that bund will throw you off just a little bit, but you can pull it down if you want so you can get into it. I can turn it easily back and forth, roll on the thumb. So if you do this for four or five seconds before you put it on, even if you're not very active, it will keep time. If you do it for something closer to 15, 20 seconds, you will max out your 31 hour power reserve, though it generally lasts longer than that. And you can wind it all day. It does not hurt anything at all. If you pull it to the one and only click, you can now set your time. It's not a hacking movement, so that's gonna keep moving. Okay, Google, what time is it? 6 and 4 p.m. 6 or 4 p.m. standard time. What does that even mean? Um, you notice you've got a wobble crown. This deflects lateral pressure on the movement. So when you're pushing and pulling and prying on it, you're not transferring anything into the stem, into the movement. Uh, it also makes it nice and easy to push right back over and thread down. So there is your radioactive build, sir. I hope you love it. I appreciate your support. And I thank you for waiting on me. Um, or waiting on somebody on my team to get that knocked out for you. Uh, sorry it took a minute. Uh, with your watch, though, you're going to have a couple cool things. 
Um, you're going to have your matching beads, right? And then if I recall, you said something before, and I told you I was going to throw in some beads for you. Um, these will go with just about anything, right? Got some silvers in there, um, some nice charcoal. I uh, got some hematite. So this should go with just about anything. So throwing that in there, a little special gift for you. I appreciate you, man. Um, it's going to come in a special edition silver radioactive box. It's going to come with watch cleaner. This is good on all um, glass and metal parts. So the whole thing here, um, non-streaking, non-toxic, non-residue. You're going to have some leather conditioner. Um, if this ever gets not as soft, you want to make sure it is pliable, etc., etc. Just put it on there. Probably the backside of anything. That's where it's going to be touching your skin. Um, put it on there, let it soak in, remove any excess. A little bit will go a long way. So there's a reason there's only 0.5 ounces in here. Okay. Um, that's not just like a, I mean, it looks like it's a sample, but that's going to last your strap. Okay. So there's a lot in there, I promise you. And then, uh, lastly, you're going to get some fine scratch remover. This is a uh, Nuvis 2 off of Amazon repackage, which is the same thing essentially as Polywatch. This is an acrylic glass and you can scratch it. And if you do, just put a tiny bit on there. And buff against the scratch. Fill that scratch. Um, use your microfiber that's included. Generate some heat behind your thumb. Uh, that will kind of you know speed up the process of it uh, solidifying. In about 15 seconds, it should be knocked out. But only use a little bit because the rest is going to soak into your rag. The rest is going to get pushed around. You don't want anything under your bezel. So just put a tiny bit. Maybe just put it on your microfiber and just push against it. Okay, A little bit will go a long way. This should last you multiple watches. Uh, it will feel like uh, if when you put pledge on wood, it's going to be super slick. Um, so just use a tiny bit. There's plenty in there. I promise you this. You will not. You'll probably not even use a fourth of this in your life on it. So um, there's your build, sir. I appreciate your time. I appreciate you waiting it out. I will get it put out into the mail to you. And um, also inside your build-in warranty cards, and they're your laser etched cards. You better flip around backwards. So, build and warranty cards that are not focusing. Man, and it doesn't like that's how it's uh, reflective. So, Metal cards, personalized, those will be in there. A little uh, business card in there, too. So uh, I appreciate your time, sir. Sorry it took a minute, and I was working out of town, so um, just prolonged it just that much longer. So get it out to you Monday, get you tracking soon. And uh, if you want me to build you a custom watch, reach out. And I'll do what I can when I can. And if uh, you want to continue to see builds like this, like and subscribe as I put up videos and build watches all the time. Thanks.